All right, we are here at my Vermi Hut indoor worm bin. And the last time we were in here, we started a lettuce head experiment. And we'll check on that. But one thing I wanted to show you is the holes within the newspaper and the frayed nature of it all over. And usually that's an indication to me that the worms have eaten all the food or perhaps it's that the newspaper has gotten so old that uh, they can finally start munching on it. But either way, we'll see how the feeding went. And this is our feeding zone indicator. So that's where most of the food went. Now, between this feeding and the last one, I baited out some worms from the bottom tray. There were three trays, now there's two trays in here. So you'll see a little bit of castings that aren't necessarily from them breaking this down. And then an egg carton and worm and a watermelon um, in there. But wow, right away, <laughs> right away, there are, there are all kinds of worms right here. I mean, just right on the top surface. So this is, this is gonna be a good, good feeding, I can already tell. So let's kinda go here first before we get to the food because I think in the center, yep, that's where I put the baiting station. I baited them out uh, three days and got a lot more worms after we had picked through. And I think they are drawn to this. Right here is the egg carton that I, I didn't just kind of dumped Could in you try again? Oh man, Siri is talking to me. But yeah, right there, this is an egg carton and Right in here is what is kind of left of a piece of watermelon rind. They are absolutely just, <laughs> just tearing it apart, just going absolutely nuts over it. I will attempt to kind of keep that together. Let's see if we go in further. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is just, they've stripped the skin of the watermelon rind. That is just, it almost looks like plastic, but it's a watermelon. Ooh, they are all over the place. Um, let's just kind of excavate the rest. And it feels just just slightly warm in there, so lots of activity going on in there. So wow, that was that was really good. And these are some fat worms here. All right, let's let's kind of go through here. Now I started this tray 39 days ago, and this is the sixth feeding that we will be doing here in a little bit. So this isn't too bad. It, I'm definitely seeing a difference in the bedding. I mean, it just seemed like we were just all bedding. This was the sterile bin. This is a piece of wood that I don't, I'm <laughs> just gonna leave it in there. But um, this was the, you know, originally the sterile bin cause I just dumped cardboard in here and let it go. But look at this, look at all these worms all over. This guy is a red wiggler. You can see his kind of bulging clitellum right there. But this this bin is doing great. I'm seeing castings, I'm seeing bedding. I wouldn't say that we're 50-50. That'll probably take a little bit, a few more feedings before we're there. But just real happy with what I'm seeing. And we haven't even got to the feeding zone. So let's make our way in that direction. I wonder if they kind of got baited away themselves with this little, um, the old baiting station that I used, but we'll find out here shortly. Oh my goodness. Oh, I, I don't know if you can see just, just, you know, tens of worms, not hundreds in here. I mean, okay. Yeah. Here's <laughs> this feeding looks to be intact a little bit. So here's a pepper, mostly skin, but some of the seeds. Um, let's see if there's any other food in here. I did give them a bit of a hefty feeding with some carrots, I believe, and banana peel. But let's keep going in here. And I think the, the lettuce is gonna be over here. So let's check that out. Yeah, this is in the, the smell from this um, bin is um, just like being out in a forest after it's rained. It's just, it's, it's uh, just an earthy kind of smell. But they are just there in every square centimeter. 
of this bin just worms all over. And that makes sense because there were three trays and now there's two. So, you know, I, I wish I could figure out the time intervals because I would love to have four or five trays on here, but it just, I, I don't feel like I could put a new tray on top of this. It needs to get going more. But wow, look at, look, just look at all those. I may stop here and do a little time lapse to watch them go down. All right, I think they all went under. I usually do time lapses in my outdoor bin. Um, in fact, if you subscribe to my channel, you'll see I have three playlists, one for each bin, and you can follow my bins from, you know, the start to finish castings. But look at this, look at all these worms. They're just hanging out, I don't even see any food in here. I guess they're just kind of going for this <laughs> piece that I'm breaking apart, but it feels, I'm feeling a lot of moisture in here, which I was a little worried because when I went back and looked at the um, the other video before this, it just seemed like, oh my gosh, okay, this is, this is just the cutest thing. I'm sorry, baby worms, <laughs> any kind of babies. It doesn't matter if it's worms, kids, they are just the cutest thing. <laughs> oh, I love them. All right. Back in your, back in your little bin there. All right, let's make our way forward. I'm not sure this is the best way to go through this because there's just so much bulk, but, but wow, just, I mean, look at that. Look at all those worms, fantastic. All right, the moment we've been waiting for, almost the moment we've been waiting for, I'm just, <laughs> I just, this is just so awesome to see all these worms and big ones and little ones. And this is a mix of blue worms and red wigglers. And they all seem to be doing fairly well. No one's dominating the other, I don't think. All right, let's see. Where is that? Where is that lettuce head? <laughs> this may be a very short experiment. I am not seeing that lettuce head. Oh my gosh, is that it? <laughs> Seven days and a lettuce head is gone? I did not think that was gonna happen. I need to sort through this a little bit more. Maybe I missed it. I could have easily missed it, but I, <laughs> wow, that was, that was a quick experiment. <laughs> Maybe I should have come in here earlier. These worms are just taking care of business. I can't believe it's not in here. Did I miss it? Oh, is that it? Oh, that's me. That could be a remnant. I don't know. And I'm not seeing any carrots. I put carrots in here. I am not seeing it. This is not it. Not sure what that is, but it doesn't feel look like a piece of lettuce. All right, we are there is literally no lettuce set in here. It's almost like I'm wondering if, if I put it in this bin, but I know I put it in this bin. Wow, look at this. I mean, maybe when I go back, I'll <laughs> and look at the video, I'll see pieces of it, but. I really thought that was gonna take longer. I I thought for sure we would see part of the, you know, cause when you, when you cut that part of the lettuce off and it's just the stalk, it's pretty, it's pretty thick and just seems hard. Certainly you have to use a knife to cut it, but it is not here. It is not to be seen in anywhere. And I have really disturbed these worms. They are not gonna be happy with me. All in the name of experimentation. Okay, let's let them calm down and I kind of destroyed the baiting area thing. Okay, so that's it. That's That was short experiment. Seven days, let us head, gone. Who knows what day it was officially gone, but it is certainly not here. I'm gonna move this over and we're gonna do another, we'll make sure the, the feeding goes on the side again because I like that with the heat situation. 
Wow, the pepper lasted longer than that lettuce head. I mean, the pepper was mostly skin. I understand that. But I just thought that stock of the lettuce head would be, would just take longer. But nope. So there you go. If you're wondering, throw in a whole lettuce head. They're good to go. Okay, let's put, let's put this. This is just really falling apart. This egg carton piece from my baiting station. Maybe some of these bigger pieces. You know, the, the food as it thaws out um, just releases its, its moisture right into the bin. Um, in fact, I, I um, took this stuff out of the freezer earlier in the day, so it's all thawed out. But, but either way, we're going to... We're gonna put it in here, and of course I'm gonna put bedding because we're starting to get to that point where um, the bin will start to shrink, and I mentioned that last video too. As the cardboard gets consumed, the air pockets within it are gone, and I'm just a little messy here. All right, let's throw in some food. Now this is interesting, this is a mango. I'm not so many ways to try and get the mango with, you know, that seed is so big, but I cut it and then I cross hatch it. So we'll put that there. That might be interesting. See if we revisit this, the, um, the, uh, skin of it. Here's, um, here's a little piece of lettuce head. We'll put that in there. And of course they love strawberries and apple cores and here's some potato peels. That's another thing that went pretty fast or, you know, I couldn't tell what it was is the potato peels um more strawberries of course bananas i thought we put a whole banana peel in here too and i just didn't see it this is going to be a little bit more fun to watch because i'm going to leave that section of the banana right there i'm sure they're going to enjoy that and since they're doing so well we'll keep giving them um some more food this should be interesting some celery that seems pretty fibrous. I would think that was would be more of a slow food for them to eat. And I think that might about do it because we did find a little bit of feeding, food from the last feeding. So we'll check back in here in seven days and see how they did on this. And I'll come back to the coffee. Oh, that was a lot. <laughs> And then the grit, that's another thing I, you know, we put this pile of grit in here and you never see it like clumped up because they just come and consume it. It probably sticks to their bodies and then it gets spread all around. But we will bury this up, worms everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. They are very happy to be, if a worm can be happy, to be up in here and feeding. I am again seeing uh, cocoons in here probably hard to see with the video um, so they are reproducing things are going well I am very happy all right that should about do it so I hope everybody is having a great day and their bins are doing well and happy vermicomposting everybody take care